what's up traders this is deepak bangar from profitable traders i welcome you to this video part 2 of trading versus investing and we are going to see which is better which is more profitable trading or investing in this video i'm going to share with you whether i am a trader or an investor and what are my reasons or my logics of uh, about the approach we are going to see with practical examples of few stocks certain principles for example does the buy and hold forever strategy really work in today's changing market dynamics how investors capital gets stuck in the stocks which are idle and how capturing the swings or the major trends in the market is the way to go and can be a game changer for you when it comes to making money from the stock markets and at the end of this video you will be able to decide for yourself whether trading is better or investing is better or more profitable and what suits you the best so let's get started if you haven't watched the first part of this video i i'm giving the link in the i button check that out i personally feel and i believe that trading is more profitable and better compared to investing what are my reasons of saying so so let us going to so let us find out see the first reason what i feel is trading gives you more returns in less time okay and with when we are seeing the stock examples i am going to show you how actually uh, this happens in the real market scenarios there is no or minimal risk of capital getting stuck or idle for long periods of time because in trading we are capturing the major trends the momentum in the move of a particular stock and then we are trying to avoid these phases of the stocks which are in the downtrend or when the stock is moving against our direction or when the stock is just sitting idle there doing nothing just consolidating we are avoiding those phases in trading but in investing we have to go through whether out all these phases i can take advantage of both the bullish phase and the bearish phase or the up phase and the down phases of the markets when i am a trader but an investor can only um, take advantage of the one side of the market the long term growth forecasting is tough in my view in today's fast paced economy and especially when the new new technologies are coming up it is really challenging to predict what is going to be the price of a particular company 5 years 10 years or 20 years down the line and another reason is i actually take a middle approach where you know the my style of trading is something where i have tried to incorporate the key principles or the key advantages of investing in the way i trade that means i am trying to take the best of both worlds of trading and investing together and i have incorporated in in my trading style that's the way i uh, trade basically the few principles of investing like the power of compounding then different ways of making money from the investing like dividends stock split bonus shares coupons etc and there are wealth creation uh, opportunities which are hallmarks of investing so i have tried to incorporate these things in my trading style and that's why i say i get to enjoy the benefits of best of the both worlds of trading and investing together that's my style of you know trading now we are going to see does the buy and hold forever strategy always work in the stock market to make money it is a common misconception in my view that just buying and holding the stocks good stocks for long term and forgetting about them is going to make you profits so these are the examples of few of the stocks where these were excellent stocks at one point of time but what happened to them in the last few years we already know yes bank dlf reliance capital reliance infra dhfl vodafone idea so we are going to see the charts of these stocks this is the weekly chart of dlf a dlf when it was uh, started in 2007 july 2007 so this is the chart and 
it was trading at around 550 560 rupees at the beginning it went up to almost double its price in the month of march 2008 so within a one year it uh, double uh, the stock price doubled and after that what happened was this huge fall and the stock was trading at around 144 rupees so an investor who has bought this stock in the expectation of the long term approach just imagine what would have happened to the money and afterwards from 2008 till so many years okay so many years till today the stock has not able to recover to its original buying price of 550 again the similar this stock it was a multi bagger stock and it went up like anything it from 2008 early, early 2009 when it was trading at around 15 rupees from that point of time from 2009 from 15 rupees price it has gone up to 377 in fact yeah almost almost 400 rupees it touched in 9 to 10 years and the investors were enjoying the profit but one thing which they uh, faced challenge is when to exit the stock and this is what happened people who just bought and hold it forever this is the next thing which happened in the month uh, of from the September 18 2018 the stock has been falling like anything and we all know where it is trading today it is at uh, 14 or 15 rupees the same price where it started from 2005 to 2022 so almost 17 years and the stock price is same it's 15 rupees approximately so buying and holding doesn't work always the second thing we are going to discuss is about how investors capital gets stuck in the stocks which are just moving sideways they are just not moving in any particular direction they are just sitting idle they are consolidating and they are in the channel of a price band we are going to see the example of reliance stock let us see how reliance behaved this is the weekly chart of Reliance and the area that you can see here on the screen which is a rectangle this particular portion you can see here this is a rectangle from March 2009 till almost February 2017 so approximately 8 years okay so these eight years reliance which is a very popular and very famous uh, stock and it's favorite for investors because they feel reliance is really good company then they can always buy and hold forever just imagine what happened to the investors in these eight years of holding the stock actually price did not go anywhere it was trading at around 550 rupees and for eight years the price stayed there so investors capital got stuck in this stock for eight years so rather than keeping your money idle in reliance stock for eight years you could have invested that money somewhere else where there is a growth opportunity in that company the third principle we are going to see is how capturing swings or major trends can be a game changer 10 year rate of return on stock price analysis see we invest or trade to make money to get a decent return on our invested capital that's our ultimate aim and if you found if you find and if you do the study of what is the average annual rate of return on the stock price of the top 50 companies where we call it as nifty 50 which are the India's top 50 companies the major large capitalization companies then you will find that the if you just buy and hold these stocks the average rate of return of these stocks on the basis of stock price is not more than 15 to 20 percent for most of these nifty 50 companies and if you don't believe it we are going to see practically I'm going to show you a website called screener where you can get this idea let's say a nifty 50 companies let's take a uh, few examples of let's say reliance reliance industries this is a nifty 50 company 
and here you can look for what is the stock price CAGR means compounded annual growth rate. So how much the actually annual uh, rate of return this stock has generated for 10 years. Okay, let's take a long term example of 10 years. So it has generated 21% per annum return on an average basis this reliance particular stock. Let's take another example of uh, TCS. So let's see what is the CAGR of TCS. It is again 20%, 10 year CAGR. The Infosys. It's 19%. ONGC. zero percent ICICI Bank the CAGR is around 17 percent HDFC Bank the CAGR is around 18 percent so for most of these top companies the good companies will be able to give you on an average a CAGR of around 15 to 20 percent now my question is, are there any periods of time when these stocks actually give a more than or equal to 20% move while they were in this last 10 years? How many times does it happen that the stocks move by more than 20% or 20%? We are going to find out in the charts. So let's take an example of Reliance. So, Reliance has given approximately 20% CAGR for an investor when he just buys and holds a stock for the last 10 years. Now we will see, this is the chart of the Reliance and for in the last 10 years, how many times did it happen that Reliance gave a move of approximately 20% or more? We are going to find out. Okay. So this, 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 these are the arrows which I have marked on the chart. These are the waves or the moves where the reliance moved by more than 20%. You can here see here, uh, this particular move is of around 24%. Then this move is around 29%. Uh, this particular arrow more than 22%. So like this, you can see all these moves. So the stock is moving up, it is co again coming down. It's moving up, coming down. So the stock is moving in a cyclical phases where the stock, this Reliance stock has given multiple occasions of more than 20% returns. And like this, see, this, these are all the moves of more than 20%. And if you calculate this total in the last 10 years, they have been more than 30 times, okay, 3-0, when the Reliance has given more than 20% move in a short span of time. So my question to you is, as an investor, would you like to have the benefit of getting the 20% return in one year on an annualized basis in Reliance stock by buying and holding it or would you like to take the more returns by pro because Reliance is giving you more opportunities of more than 20% moves on multiple occasions, more than 30 times in the last 10 years. Reliance gave you this opportunity. As a trader, you can always end cash on these opportunities and you can make more returns on your capital rather than just buying and holding. Because of this, you are capturing the swings. So you're capturing the major trends and whenever there is a momentum in the particular stock, you get faster returns, more returns in the less span of time. That's how a trader makes more returns and is more profitable compared to investing. Now, the last question that comes to your mind is what is better for you, trading or investing? What suits you best? Okay, so what are the factors which we need to take into consideration? 
what is your expectation of return how much return you want to make are you willing are you willing to learn the chart reading techniques time commitment how much time you are willing to you know dedicate to the uh, studying the stock markets what is your risk appetite are you a risk averse person or you are a risk taker so all these factors they will come into play when it comes to deciding whether you want to be an investor or a trader see a person who is not willing to learn much he is not willing to uh, monitor the markets on a frequent basis uh, less time commitment he is happy with uh, 10 to 15% returns or maybe 20% returns by just buying and holding he is a low risk appetite person so for him the investing route would be a better way to go but if you are someone like me for example who is interested in getting more returns on your trading capital with a similar risk appetite who is willing to give approximately 30 minutes a day for learning this language of the market how to read the charts doing the fundamental analysis of the companies then there is no doubt that you will be able to be making more profits from trading compared to investing in my view so that's all for this video i hope you found this useful and if you like what i shared please do not forget to hit that like button subscribe to our channel youtube channel and support us share this video with your friends whom you think this information can be useful and let me know in the comments below whether you would like to be a trader or an investor i am looking forward for your comments i thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next video bye for now